Hello everyone. Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you ready to worship him this morning? He is all on worthy to be praised. Yes. He's been so grateful. He has done great things in our life. Let us close our eyes and praise him this morning. Just remember what he has done all through this months all through these days he's alone worthy father we love you we praise you this morning we came to honor you we came to glorify your name oh god you alone worthy to be praised this morning oh god we bless your name oh father we bless your name thank you jesus where two or three gather in my name i'll be in your midst you have promised oh god we know for sure that you are here with us oh god you are here with us this morning oh wherever they are watching from you are there in their midst oh god we are here to glorify your name oh god we love you lord we praise you father oh god oh thank you jesus
to see you all let's sing some song together and worship this morning how many of you know our God take care of us 
when we accepted Jesus in our life, He will take care of everything. We're going to sing a song. You know this song, I am trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I hope you know this song. So I encourage you all to sing with me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Come on, everyone. Put your hands together. I'm trading my sorrow I'm trading my shame I'm laying them down For the joy of the Lord I'm trading my sickness I'm trading my pain I'm laying them down For joy of the Lord Say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, Amen. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, Amen. I'm trading my sorrows I'm trading my shame I'm laying them down for joy of the Lord I'm trading my sickness I'm trading my pain I'm laying them down for joy of the Lord Come on everyone, yes Lord! Lord as Lord as as Lord as Lord as Lord as as Lord as Lord as Lord as as Lord Amen as Lord as Lord as as Lord as Lord as Lord as as Lord as Lord as Lord as as Lord Amen. Lord as Lord as as Lord as Lord as Lord as as Lord as Lord as Lord as as Lord Amen. Yes Lord as Lord as as Lord as Lord as Lord as as Lord as Lord as Lord as as Lord Amen. I'm trading my sorrows I'm trading my shame I'm laying them down for joy of the Lord I'm trading my sickness I'm trading my pain I'm laying them down for joy of the Lord Say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, Amen. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, Amen. Sing one more time, as Lord, as Lord, as as Lord, as Lord, as Lord, as as Lord, as Lord, as Lord, as as Lord, Amen. Oh yeah, as Lord, as Lord, as as Lord, as Lord, as Lord, as as Lord, as Lord, as Lord, as as Lord, Amen. Say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, Amen. 
Say yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Come on, everyone, yes, Lord. Lift up your voice and say, God, I'm trading everything in your hand because you are my everything. Sing one more time, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Lord is Lord is is Lord is Lord is Lord is is Lord is Lord is Lord is is Lord amen Come on everyone well freedom 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 Lord is Lord is is Lord is Lord is Lord is is Lord amen Yes Lord is Lord is is Lord is Lord is Lord is is Lord is Lord is Lord is is Lord amen Yes is Lord amen Yes is Lord amen Come and put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we come to Jesus, whatever situation we might be, He's a God who turns our arms. He's a God who changes things in our life. Hallelujah. This is my desire to honor you Lord with all my heart I worship you
Every moment I'm with 
you pray like this God this is my desire to honor you to praise you this is my desire every breath that I take every moment I am awake Lord have your way in my life have your way in me have your way in my family have your way in my job have your way every day God I need you more than anything in, you, in my life come on somebody lift up your hand and praise him this morning oh this is my desire oh God to honor you to glorify your name your name is like a honey on my lips your spirit like water to my soul your word is a lamp to my feet Jesus I love you I love you oh, Jesus hand of praise in this place he's alone worthy he's alone to be praised this morning father you speak to us oh God your word will go forth and touch each and everyone those who are watching this service we praise your holy name we pray in Jesus name amen and amen you may be seated in the presence of the Lord if you have your Bible, turn with me towards the Gospel of Luke chapter 5, verse 11. The Gospel of Luke chapter 5, verse 11, it says, So when they had brought their boat to land, they forsook all and followed him. 
So when they had brought their boat to land, they forsook all and followed him. Today I'm going to preach from the title, New Season. For this message, I gave a title called New Season. When God come into our life, God began to change one by one. Our God change our heart. All things are passed away. Everything became new. Our old man will pass. God will change into a new man. Here in this story, when you read from the first word, it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God. Many followed him to hear the word of God. So what happened in the second word? He saw two boats standing by the lake, but the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. He saw two boats in the lake, but he, he had chosen one. Many times I wonder, I don't know how about you, but I wonder why God chosen me. There is many people in this world, well educated than me, well talented than me, more wealthy, highly influenced many people are living in this world but why God has chosen you and me this is the question today I'm asking you have you ever thought about this why God chosen me what is the reason behind this what is the purpose behind this today God is speaking to you there is a reason that I have saved you there is a reason that I have delivered you from the bondage. There is a reason that I have healed you. There is a reason that I have called you. There is a reason that I put you in the job. There is a reason God has my friend. Many times we wonder why I am going through this situation why I am going through these hard times why my life is full of struggle full of pain full of sorrows full of sickness my family is messed up my family is broken I don't have job I don't have anyone to share my feelings I don't have anyone to to share my pain but let me tell you my friend God has a plan for you. In this story, we are we gonna see previous night, last night, they, they cast their net, they tried to they tried to find fish, but they couldn't find it, not even a single fish. Here it says, he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. He taught them. But I love the word he said on that board. When Jesus come into your life, when Jesus come into your board, he don't want to just come and go, but he wants to stay in your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. He wants to stay in your life, my friend. Many of us, sadly, we have a, we, we, we accepted Jesus. We baptized with the Holy Spirit. God saved us from the drugs, from the alcohol, from, from all kinds of addiction. But God wants to sit. God wants to dwell in our life. Many of us are just Sunday Christians. Many of us only go to church on Sunday and praise God. God, this is my desire to honor you, to glorify you, to praise you. But on, on, on everyday basis, are we worshiping God? Are we have the relationship with Him? Do, uh, do you think that 
but god is not looking for sunday christians my friend god is looking for daily relationship with you and me he loves us he saved us he gave his only son for us but each and every day we have so many works to do we are going here we are going there we do this thing we do that thing but we don't have time to have a relationship with god here it says he set on that boat that means he wants to stay he wants to stay in your boat he wants to stay in your life he wants to stay in your children's life he wants to stay in your family he wants to stay in your in your job in your business when he stay in your boat my friend when you when he stay in your boat of life the miracle is waiting for you the supernatural things is waiting for you the the the, the extraordinary things is waiting for you but many of us asking god to come inside our heart and then what what's what what happening we say god i don't need you anymore i can take care of myself today god is looking the heart so he can come and stay in the fourth word it says when he had stopped speaking he said to simon launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch after he finished preaching teaching he told to simon peter launch out into the deep let down your nets for a catch see first jesus said on the boat then he is asking peter to go deeper same thing in our life my friend when jesus come into our life he wants to have a deep relationship when we go into the deep relationship he will show you things that you have ever imagined the fisherman will go deep and catch many fishes the people those who are dying in the ocean and 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 finding different fishes and different things they could not find in the sea shore but they go into the deep and deep and deep ocean why so they can find something different something unique same like when jesus come into your life he wants you to take you into the deep relationship so he will show you things he will show you extraordinary things he will show you marvelous things he will show you secret things so he is asking you to come into the deeper relationship with the almighty god hallelujah but simon answered said to him master we have toiled all night catch nothing we have tried all night we have struggled all night but we couldn't find nothing we catch nothing you may be trying everything in your life all those days all those years but today god is asking you to go deeper with him hallelujah you are not going deeper alone but jesus is going with you you are not going alone but jesus is going with you jesus is going with your family jesus is going with your with your children jesus is going with you wherever you are wherever he is taking you my friend hallelujah he is asking you to go deeper don't stand on the seashore but let us go deeper with jesus. Jesus if we are not alone but Jesus is going with you somebody shout hallelujah this morning amen and he said nevertheless at your word i will let 
down the net hallelujah he forgot what was happened last night he forgot all the tired he forgot all the pain he forgot all the sorrows but he said according to your word of god i will i will i will cast the net today god is speaking to you my friend when you listen to the word of god when you listen to the voice of the lord when you listen to the master's voice obedience brings blessings in your life somebody praise him this morning hallelujah abraham obeyed god's voice and he took isaac to that mountain guess what happened god provided the lamb and abraham said you are my jehovah jireh that means what you are my provider when you obey the voice of the lord when you obey the master's voice when you obey your savior's voice when you obey your 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 god's voice he will bring blessings he will bring breakthrough in your life he will bring miracle in your life he will bring healing in your life he will bring everything in your life because you are not obeying to somebody's voice you are not obeying to politicians voice you are not obeying to your wife voice you are not obeying to your husband's voice you are not obeying to somebody's voice but you are obeying the one who created heaven and the earth somebody give the lord of lord hand of praise in this morning amen hallelujah hallelujah nevertheless at your word at your word hallelujah when he said it will come to pass my friend you may be thinking pastor so many years i have been waiting for this promise to come to pass in my life yes of course i'm also waiting but i know who promised this word amen he never lies all the promises are yes and amen in christ jesus it will come to pass when we obey his voice obedience brings blessings when we obey to our parents when we obey to our teachers what happen we will get good grade same like that when we obey to our master's voice he tried all night i never have been in the boat for fishing but i have so many friends those who do fishing they say like they have to struggle they have to fight with the wind to catch fishes so he forgot all the pains all the sorrows all the struggles he had last night but he said nevertheless your word according to your word lord i will let down the net when you obey god's voice my friend many of us not obeying his voice not obeying his word so we get in trouble hello yes i am talking to you alone because that looks very difficult all we want just smooth life god tell me something very easy so i can i can enjoy but we are not trusting god and put a step of faith and go forward you are not alone in your life boat jesus is there with you hallelujah jesus is there with you so whatever comes in the middle i don't care because the one who created everything is with me is with you so he said god according to your word i will let down the net verse 6 it says and when they had done this they caught they catch great number of fish and their net was breaking i told you when you obey to the voice of the lord big blessings big breakthrough 
big deliverance in whatever area you need it's waiting for you here it says great number of fish and their net was breaking when god started to bless you you cannot contain those blessings because he will pour out his blessing upon you and me that was peter experienced on that day just imagine fisherman knows which side to go where to cast the net to catch certain kinds of fish i still remember one time i was in florida in pensacola florida i went for fishing with my pastor and other friends he told me blessing i'm going to put something on that hook and you cast that thing and you wait for that that uh, i don't know what is that call to move little bit that means some fish caught in that uh, i don't know exactly what they call i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so what happened i i was sitting and waiting he told me you just wait when the when the net when the the the, the pole move you started to roll the thing so i was waiting 5 minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes nothing happened i was like what's going on there is no fish in this place you know what happened when i rolled that thing after 40 minutes i figured out there is no shrimp or anything in that hook because the tricky fish came and ate ate and left so i was sitting there for 40 minutes without knowing what was happened there because i don't have any experience in my life about fishing same like that peter know everything because he was a fisherman he knows where to go which direction to go where to cast the net to find a certain kind of fish but jesus said let us go deeper he, he might say god i was there last night in the same place but nothing was happened but remember last night jesus was not there this morning jesus was in that boat so everything will be all right amen today i have a good news my friend if you want changes in your life if you want your life to be changed you if you want new season new beginning in your life better listen to the master's voice better listen to the lord's voice better listen to the god's voice it's good to listen to the wife voice husband voice or kids voice or parents voice or politician voice but more than anyone it's always good and better to listen to the voice of the lord hallelujah and the word 7 says so they signal to the partner in the other boat to come and help them and they came and filled the boat the boats so they began to sink think about that my friend when jesus was there they they are getting great fishes and the boat began to sink that much fish they have got on that day what is the secret because jesus is there in their boat and the second secret was he obeyed his voice Many times we say God I have tried everything but nothing was happened that's right I agree with you But have you ever thought when you tried in that situation did you put Jesus did you put Jesus in the front of that situation or you just tried by yourself When you tried by yourself you and me will get in trouble When we try to fix some things by our strength we will get in trouble and everything will be messed up 
So today God is challenging you whatever you try to do whatever you want to do put me first let me come into your boat let me come into your situation let me come into your marriage life let me come into your family life let me come into your business let me come into your situation and see how I turn the situation for you hallelujah glory be to God and when Simon Peter saw he fell down at Jesus knee and said depart from me for I am sinful man O Lord and he and all who were with him astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken verse 10 Jesus said to Simon do not be afraid from now on you will catch men you might be catching fishes for years, Peter, but from today onwards, from now onwards, you're going to catch men. Guess what happened? Peter was not very qualified. He was disqualified in many things. He was a short temper. He always doubt. He always ask questions to God. At the end, he denied Jesus. He was not qualified. He was disqualified in everything. But what happened? On the day of Pentecost, God raised weak Peter, disqualified Peter. God didn't raise any other apostles, but God raised broken heart Peter to share the gospel. Bible says when he filled with the Holy Ghost, Peter stood and preached. 3,000 people came to Christ my friend that's the kind of God we serve you might be broken this morning you might be failure this morning you might be think you are disqualified but let me tell you when Jesus come in you into your life when Jesus come into your family all the brokenness he can change you may be thinking you are disqualified my God is a super God to, to change from disqualified to qualified hallelujah the apostles might be thinking and thought hey you have been with Jesus you saw all the miracles he raised the dead he healed the blind man he cleansed the leper but you denied Jesus they might be ignored him they might be neglected him but Jesus never ignored him. Jesus already knew he will be a failure. Even though he knew, he loved him. And he made him a successful person. That's why I gave the title, It's a New Season. It's a New Beginning. Today, I want to close this message whatever situation you are in whatever you have done in your life today God wants to come into your life he wants to come into your boat and sit and take you deeper to show you great things what he can do in your life Are you willing to accept his invitation? Are you willing to invite him into your boat, into your life, into your family? You, my brother, watching, my family is totally messed up, broken. I have lost all my hope. But today, Jesus wants to give you hope, my friend. Today, Jesus wants to give you peace in your life what you have lost what the enemy took from your life Jesus wants to give you double portion if you're ready to listen his voice and accept him into your life let's close our eyes and pray God father we love you as Peter obeyed your voice and went deeper 
cast the net and received his blessing help us oh lord to to listen your voice help us lord to obey your voice in every situation in our life not on not only on sundays oh god but every day father each and every moment each and every hour help us oh god help us to listen your voice to to obey your voice oh god we want to see breakthrough we want to see oh hallelujah salvation we want to see healing oh god we want to see your hand to move in our life but help us to obey your voice help us to stay connecting with you help us to have a relationship with you oh god those who are those who are watching this program those who are watching this service oh god they might be broken in their heart they might be sorrows in their heart i pray let them receive you oh god let them receive you jesus you are the prince of peace you are the lord of lord let the peace come into their life and change things for your glory oh god I'm praying for everyone those who are watching this service father This might be the first service they are watching you let them accept you as you as their savior oh god as the lord If you are watching this service without knowing this Jesus ask him to come into your life and say god I need you I have tried everything but I have failed but today has he said I'm going to accept you as my savior as my lord I'm going to accept you and I'm going to see what you're going to do in my life today God is challenging you my friend when you accept me when you accept him he will change your life Hallelujah Father of oh God ask him to come into your heart god you come into my heart i accept you as my savior i accept you as my god change my heart change my life heal my broken heart take all the bondages away from me those who are praying for the healing of god let your hand will touch them and heal their body in the name of jesus oh father give you all the glory all the honor all the praise to you alone we pray in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah i hope god spoke to you this morning i want you to do one thing my friend if you can you can see our contact information we have our whatsapp number and we have our email we want you to send us your testimony what god has done through this service through this sermon through this worship so that will encourage us and that will help us to pray for you if you have any needs if you have any prayer records please email us please send a whatsapp message or send a regular message we would like to pray for you we love you so much so send us your prayer request send us your testimony send your what god done what god has done in your life your healing whatever happened through this service please do send email to us god bless you we love you so much i will see you all next sunday amen